Hey folks, this is Mike Terrace again from Alaska Department of Fish and Game. And I just came back to the area, um, that beaver spot there that was getting, I was at yesterday, but it was a snowstorm. It's nice and clear now. And I'm going to look, uh, you can see that beaver was out here last night, cutting down a lot of trees and eating a lot of bark off these trees. So let's go take a look at that. So looking at this area here, um, this literally all of this is just from last night. Came in here, cut some more. Um, these are mostly just all getting birch trees. Cutting them down. He's chewing a lot of the bark and just eating it. Uh, he's also cutting some smaller twigs. And you can see over there, we ate a lot of bark off of those trees that he cut down. These are all pretty small birch trees right now. Um, but he's also taking some of the smaller twigs and dragging them back across the wetland to his lodge, which is about 100 or 200 yards over that way. Let's go follow his trail today. And he has worn down this trail. He's been in and out of here many times. Because like I said, with the snow depth that we have here, if I step off, I go up to my waist and I'm walking on his trail. It's like walking on hard ground almost. That's how many times he's been over it and beating it down. And you can see him dragging a pretty substantial uh, size um, branch along here. Here we are at the lodge and there's a trail going to the lodge. Um, see where he went through here and today whew, falling through the deep snow here so I followed this hard packed trail you can see some fresh sticks and chewing but I it, this is off to the side of the lodge there is a big hole going underneath the ice right here so the beaver did not chew out of its lodge which through the lodge which they sometimes do but it chewed through the ice to get out from under the ice or probably from one of the entrances that leave the lodge and he has been coming in or she has been coming in and out through this hole right here which is pretty cool and then dragging some food back down under the ice why is it unusual and why would a beaver be out here right now um, cutting these trees down and eating the bark typically they have a lodge and they store food they cut branches and stick them in the mud in the pond or the lake or the river that they're in they stick them in the bottom so they can actually access them from under the water all winter long but if they run out of those twigs that they stuck in there or if it's cold enough in that uh, the water's not deep enough the water can freeze all the way down to the bottom which will cut off their access to those twigs that they stored so that's what happened with this beaver one of those two either ran out of food or this um, pond behind me froze down so far that the beaver could no longer access his food storage. And he's having to come out now. Um, something that they don't want to do, this one's come overland. I, I crossed what, another beaver trail a couple hundred yards away. That's a long way for a beaver to be away from um, security and it's definitely more vulnerable to predators. Uh, so we'll see how this guy fares.